Discord two-factor authentication can get you in trouble. And here it is why. Okay, so without going further, let me tell you what actually 2FA is. In easy words, 2FA is a type of extra security layer which protects your account from direct access after entering your login details, you will be asked to enter a 6 digits PIN code so that you can get into your account. There can be different types of security layers, for example, a PIN code, which will be sent to your phone number or your Gmail, and the other are using a hardware token, using a fingerprint and etc. Till here, everything looks safe, but now let me explain why 2FA is useless or gets you in trouble. In their account database, there is a key, called, token, which is always present when you log in your account. Token is the combination of your email and password which they join them and add some random numbers to your account to keep it safe. This token is used to figure out your account easily. The bad thing about the token is that, if you mistakenly leaked your token or someone stole your token then they can log into your account without any 2FA code, like, Discord will not ask them to enter the 2FA code and will give access directly which make it easier for hackers to get access to your account easily and where 2FA don't work even if you have enabled 2FA on your account. Bruh. Now take a look of how they use the token grabber to grab your token. If we open the grabber using any text editor, the first thing which you will see is their webhook URL. This is the URL which sends all your account information to a channel in a server which I'm going to show you later. Actually, Discord's webhooks allow you to automate your messages and send data updates to your Discord text channels, now they use this trick to send all the information. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, you will see the code of paths, if you are using these three Discord apps and these browsers then they can easily grab your token. At the end, we can also see which information the token grabber can send, from here it can send your username, email and password, token, and the most important thing, it can steal your billing information also. Now, if they want to grab your token, they will send you the file and will start talking to you until you open the file. If you downloaded this file and opened it, then you are done, after that it will send all your data to their webhook URL including your account token, billing information etc. If we check the webhook, all your data will be sent and now they can use your credit card or your token for whatever they want. So this is how they get your token. To keep safe your token or account, I will recommend you to not click on any files sent from strangers and even from friends if they look suspicious. Okay, so now let's talk about how it can get you in trouble. While enabling 2FA, you will be asked to download any authenticator, which is Authy or Google Authenticator. If you are using Google Authenticator, then it's okay, but if you are using Authy, then it's not too good. To enable the 2FA you will need to enter the 2FA manual key and will have to select the platform and your 2FA will be ready. Now, the bad thing is that, if you lost your phone or you accidentally deleted the app, now every time you log into your account, you will be asked to enter a backup code to encrypt your account. And if you have installed the app in PC, then you will not find your encryption password anywhere, because while doing it in mobile app, you will need to log in with your phone number. And after that you will need to select your encryption password so that it become easy for you to transfer your accounts easily, but on PC version, there will no option for the encryption key password. This password will be used to open your accounts in Authy app, rather than that, you will not be able to use any account in the Authy app. So if you lost your Authy account or something then you can't recover it. Okay so these were my opinions that why 2FA is useless and can get you in trouble, and feel free to criticize my opinions in the comment sections if I said anything wrong, it will be appreciated. And also, if you want to keep your account safe without any 2FA, then don't click on Skeechy links, don't open Skeechy apps and you will be fully safe.